Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to discuss how to authenticate vintage Fendi bags. Now, vintage bags have been all the rage within the past year and I actually have been collecting them. And I want to preface this video just by saying that I am not an official Fendi authenticator. I am not an expert, but I just want to share with you my tips and tricks that I've been using to spot a fake and these have been working for me 90% of the time. So today I have um, two bags to share with you, which are these two. So I have this um, Zucchino Hobo type bag and this Zucca Tote style bag. So if you want to learn how to spot a fake versus authentic, then keep on watching. The first thing I look at when buying Fendi bags is actually the buckle. So for this bag, the buckle is in gold hardware, and for the other bag, it's in silver hardware. But for both bags, the width of the buckle should be protruding from the leather strap. This is also true for the Fendi baguette. In some fakes, I can see that the width is actually the same as the leather strap, so it should not be like that. And then behind the buckle is very important. You can see the Fendi made in Italy in one side and nothing on the other. And then the magnetic clasp is a square with rounded corners and four round bolts with a, some sort of slice in the middle. I can see that in some Fendi baguettes, like the nylons, they actually have a round uh, metal clasp. For this one, it's also the same. And in some bags, there is also a Fendi engraving on the side, as you can see here, none on the other side. However, not all Fendi bags have this. For instance, this doesn't have it. But it's still authentic. For the magnetic clasp, of course, it should match the shape of the cover. And there is a Fendi engraving. In this case, it is on the right side with the Fendi logo and the FF logo on top of it. The other version is this one, whereas the Fendi engraving is in the middle and there is no FF logo on top of it. For the side buckle, it should be square with sharp edges and the Fendi engraving on one side with this round hole at the bottom. And on the other side, it won't have the Fendi engraving. However, if you turn the bag around, it will have the Fendi engraving on this side and none on the other. In some of the fake bags, I can see that this um, round hole is missing, so you should really look for that. And for the other bag, it's the same. Square buckle with sharp edges with the Fendi engraving and round hole at the bottom, none on the other side. And it's the same for the other side, Fendi engraving at the top, none at the bottom. But if you turn the bag around, there's the Fendi engraving on the top, none at the bottom. And for the other side, Fendi engraving at top, none for the bottom. The next thing I look at is the strap itself, particularly the end of the strap. So the end should have sharp edges. In some of the fakes, I can see that the edge is rounded, so you should check that as well. For the other bag, as you can see, the strap edges are also sharp. There is also a logo inside the bag, which can usually be found at the back. And there are many variations. For instance, this one is on a metal plate, which says, made in Italy with a Fendi logo and it is attached to a leather strip. You should also pay attention to the stitching around the leather strip. It should be tight like this. And the other type is just a leather tab like this, which says Fendi made in Italy and it is embossed in the leather. It's like a square leather tab. Most Fendi bags also have an inner pocket with a zipper pull 
For instance, this one has a zipper pull in rectangular shape with a rectangular hole on one side and the Fendi engraving on the other. Whereas the other bag just has a leather tab for a zipper pull, but it's also very common to have the zipper pull in the shape of the FF logo. Most Fendi bags have a cloth lining, some sort of thin canvas material, and it should have this Fendi embroidery all over it. Can you see? Yes, that one. And the other bag has it too. It's quite hard to show you, but it's there. You can see? Fendi. It should be all over. The serial number you can usually find inside the inner pocket. For instance, for this bag, it's in here. And it usually follows this 8BR format. Once you see the serial number, I suggest you just Google it just to see if there are other bags that exist out there exactly like it. For the other bag, it's also inside the inner pocket, but it looks a bit different. It's in this leather tab. For the monogram itself, of course, you should analyze the FFs. They should not be touching anywhere. And the upper part of the F is actually fatter than the second part. And of course, there is Fendi scattered all over the bag. And finally, for the dust bag, there are many variations, but I have two to show you. This one is the cream one with the Fendi Roma in the middle. I have another one, which is black, with the yellow Fendi logo on one side. They also have a yellow dust bag with the round Fendi logo in the middle. I do want to mention a great resource that is available to us all, which is Purse Blog or Purse Forum. So it's basically a forum where um, all the members of the community are passionate about bags and there are, the moderators are real experts so they can authenticate um, the bags for you. You just need to um, send them a query, follow the format, and you need to submit complete photos of the bags that you want to buy and they will authenticate it for you for free. So I've also used this resource and I've gotten um, good results. Some were fake, some were real, and so I'm very happy with this. The only thing is I know sometimes um, it takes the moderators, let's say, a few days to reply because of course they also have their own lives and they're busy and they're doing this for free. So if you're impatient like me or maybe you're afraid that um, you might lose the bag, then it's good to also educate yourself so you can do some quick decisions, especially if you need to buy the bag immediately. And that's what this video is for. Of course, if you still have doubts and you really want to get your bag authenticated with a certificate or something like that, then I also have another resource which I use and I will link it down below. I think they only charge um, 6 euros. For authentication if it's just like a written verbal or verbal authentication but if you want a certificate then that would cost more and they reply usually within 24 hours so I think it's good to even the bags that you already own just have it authenticated for your own peace of mind so anyway that's it for this video today guys I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something today and I'll see you next time bye